every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? You could be the biggest sale of the year is happening right now during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda. For a limited time, make no payments for 90 days on every new Honda. That's right, you choose and make no payments for 90 days at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling Nothing could ever bring me down Nothing, Nothing could ever bring me down Taste the feeling Hello and welcome as we start the Tuesday edition and another week of the Clarence Bug Show. Here's hoping all is well with you and yours and your little slice of South Louisiana heaven. Since last week when we had the opportunity to spend a little time with you and yours. We are in a state of mourning the law enforcement community and the capital city community. Following the tragic deaths of two Baton Rouge Police Department helicopter pilots. Law enforcement yesterday revealing that Sergeant David Poirier and Corporal Scotty Canizero, having served the BRPD 17 and 16 years respectively, it um, opens up an old wound for those of us that support law enforcement, uh, as a matter of fact, I was thinking just this morning as I'm walking out of the house, I still have, and I've just not been able to bring myself to take them off. I still wear my Pray for Nick uh, Miracle in Progress wristband and Montreal Jackson's widow who put out the Don't Let Hate Infect Your Heart wristbands in honor of Montrell. I just hadn't been able to bring myself to not wear them anymore. And needless to say, when word of this horrific crash broke, it brought back so many memories to so many of us that support law enforcement in the capital city. It is something that you never get used to. It is something that is never expected. And it's something that brings home the fact that these are extraordinary individuals that willingly do a job that on any given day, you don't know if you'll return home safely to those that you love. The law enforcement agencies involved in the investigation also announcing that the individual driving the vehicle, DeAndre Bessie, 23 years of age, has been taken into custody after this horrific crash. The helicopter obviously was assisting in tracking the 2014 Ford Mustang that was being pursued by the BRPD at speeds estimated to be 135 miles an hour. He eventually was apprehended 
and is now facing a slew of charges, including two counts of manslaughter in connection with the deaths of these two BRPD helicopter pilots. I know that many people, as is their right, are not people of faith. But if you would, please be so kind as to keep these officers' families in both your thoughts and in your prayers. I don't know any of the family members personally or even in passing, but I'm pretty sure that they would not mind in the least if you were to be so kind as to keep them in both your thoughts and in your prayers. In other Louisiana news. It is something that was so very avoidable and something that unfortunately we see happening more and more and more. 24 year old Devante Michael has been charged and is now facing up to five years in state prison if convicted of negligent homicide. You may remember this case from back in February where two children found a loaded gun in their father's bedroom. The father was away from the house at the time. Grandparents were looking after the kids. Six-year-old Devante Michael Jr., also known as DJ, and his brother, no age available, found the gun and started playing with the loaded gun. The gun discharged, striking the 10-year-old, the 6-year-old, forgive me, and killing him. He turned himself in on Monday and was booked into the Lafouche Parish Correctional Complex in Thibodeau with his bond set at $200,000. Y'all know me, and you know I am as big a defender of the Second Amendment as you will ever find. I don't think there's a person in any stretch of this country that is a bigger believer in the Second Amendment than yours truly. But when you have young children in the home, you've got to secure the weapon. It is a constitutionally guaranteed right, but it is not without responsibility. And this six-year-old, no longer with us, is something that very easily could have been avoided. If you know you have children, young children, and you have not instilled within them the respect due to weapons and firearms, you are asking for trouble. Children at that age, many of them just don't know better. And as a parent, it falls upon you to ensure their safety. We're going to keep an eye on this story as it works its way through the various channels involved and any and all developments that occur in relationship to that, we will pass along to you as that information becomes available. Speaking of which, by the way, funeral arrangements have not yet been announced uh, for the two BRPD pilots, but we certainly will pass that information along as well as soon as it becomes available to the media. Finally, in Louisiana news, I guess this is really no big surprise, particularly in recent memory. The Forbes Home magazine conducted a study recently and found that of the top five counties in the United States of America, those that are most at risk for natural disasters, two of them are right here in Louisiana. As a matter of fact, number one on the list 
Los Angeles County, California, based upon the fact that within the last decade, they've had 22 disaster declarations in L.A. County. Only two were for something that was not a fire, severe winter storms, flooding, and mudslides. Tied for second, East Baton Rouge Parish and Orleans Parish. Obviously because of hurricanes, tropical storms, things of that nature, and ironically, an ice storm as well. Fourth place, another tie, Riverside County, Los Angeles, and Jefferson Parish here in Louisiana. It's that time of year where we start looking down the road towards hurricane season, and obviously it is never, ever too early to start making preparations. It is something that we've just become accustomed to here in, in Louisiana. It's a part of living where we live, and most of us love this place so dearly we can't imagine not living here. Of course, now, along with that, comes the threat of natural disasters, regular as clockwork. It is uh, something that we have become accustomed to, and it's something that, as a result of what we go through regularly here, we sympathize sincerely with others. For example, those darling folks up in the neighboring state of Mississippi uh, who had their entire town wiped out recently by a spate of tornadoes. I know that there are many of you out there that are looking to support those individuals and it, it, it is certainly a sad commentary that I have to say this, but we've seen far too many instances in the past where had someone said something, it may have saved some folks some grief. Before you donate, do your homework, y'all. Be sure that these are reputable organizations that you are donating to. The only thing worse than watching our neighbors suffer through something that we are all too familiar with in Louisiana is donating to a cause to help these individuals that have been so adversely affected only to find out that you end up being scammed by some unscrupulous individuals. Do your homework, do your research, and let your heart be your guide. I'll leave it at that. We are heading up to the first break of today's show. When we come back, segment two. So you know what that means, right? Yep. Get ready. It is time for another illustrious edition of Now That's Just Stupid. That's next when we continue the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher, this is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information, and then we'll give you the context. We and hit, by the way, we'll give you fun, too. Uh, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state, we even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. <laughs> I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS 
garnish my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The season of inspiration is the perfect time to discover the enhanced Mazda CX-5. Named a 2022 IIHS Safety Pick Plus Award winner, its highest safety award honor. Choose from over 45 CX-5s available at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda on Airline. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. If you are new to the show, be advised, the second segment of every show on Tuesday, we dedicate to the ever-increasing level of stupidity in this country. But now, note, we're not talking about regular, ordinary, everyday S-T-U-P-I-D. That would be, you know, garden variety stupid what we're talking about here requires a new word with its own spelling as in s-t-o-o-p-i-d as in now that's just stupid we start in baton rouge (laughs) surprise surprise reading from wbrz.com the ABC affiliate News 2 in Baton Rouge. Deputies arrested a 19-year-old LSU student after he and a group of men allegedly stole over $1,000 worth of beer from Tiger Stadium early Sunday morning. According to arrest documents, 19-year-old Bryce Talata and a group of college-age males were seen by the LSU PD carrying several cases of beer around 3 a.m. Sunday. When the group saw the officers approaching, they fled and were not found. (laughs) Three in the morning, on a college campus, You're 19 years of of age, which is two years under the legal limit. It's three in the morning, and you're walking across campus carrying cases of beer. What could possibly go wrong? (sighs) You know, it's one thing to go to a bar, have too much to drink, particularly if you're underage, but to break into Tiger Stadium and steal close to $1,500 worth of beer, of course now in Joe Biden's economy, that's what, 
case and a half. Somewhere around there. But it makes you wonder. This allegedly is an institution of higher learning. And these individuals didn't think a group of 19 year olds on a college campus at three in the morning carrying cases of beer wouldn't draw the attention of the authorities. Like I said, S-T-O-O-P-I-D. Now y'all just stool bit. From Baton Rouge we go all the way across the country to the left coast. You've seen, unless of course you've been only watching the mainstream media and they've tried to hide this from you. You've seen what's happened in Portland, Oregon. In the wake of the rioting there, the Chaz zone, the chop zone, all of that foolishness, businesses are fleeing Portland in record numbers. The whole defund the police movement has led to an explosion in crime and retail theft, the likes of which has never been seen in that part of the country before. So recently, Walmart announced that they are closing all of their stores in Portland. When Walmart does it, it's a pretty safe bet that there are going to be others that follow suit. Speaking of which, Cracker Barrel announcing that they have become the latest company that will be leaving Portland, Oregon. Pure and simple, people are tired of stupid. Who in their right mind could not see Defunding the police is going to lead to more crime. Well, now that I think about it, I can answer that question pretty easily. Who couldn't figure that out? Liberals. After all this time, beating the, we need to defund the police wagon, now you're losing jobs. You're losing residents because they're running as fast as humanly possible to get totally away from all the lawlessness taking place there. And of course, it leads to other societal ills as well. What once was a gem of a city on the left coast has now been reduced to a mere shell of its former self. Of course now. If you analyze it for what it is. It's a self inflicted wound. It's something that the city of Portland. Brought on itself. Not just the city. But particularly the voters. You know human nature is a funny thing. When you find the right catchphrase, when you find a cause that allows you to play on people's emotions and their feelings, you can exploit people rather easily. And Portland, Oregon is a classic example. Now, here's an interesting question. The people in Portland and the government there. What do you think they are? Conservative or liberal? That's rhetorical. You don't have to answer. We we all know the answer. It's Lib City. 
It is as liberal as the day is long. And you know, there's a recurring theme here. Look at all your uber liberal cities. L.A., San Francisco, Portland, New York. Just go down the list and look where just about all of those cities are today. And yet, some of y'all going to still vote Democrat. S-T-O-O-P-I-D. Stupid. Finally. <sighs> it is what our country has come to. And this speaks volumes about us. Did you see last week ESPN, arguably the biggest sports network in all of the United States of America, paying tribute to women for National Women's Month, decided that they would honor <laughs> a dude who thinks he's a woman. You heard me right. Leah Thomas, guy. You heard me right. Biological male who identifies as a woman. Honored by ESPN. Is there any wonder why people are tuning out ESPN in droves? Is there any wonder why people are snip snip cutting the cord? Any wonder why people are tuning out Disney, Netflix, all of the above, ESPN, ABC, NBC, C, the BS, CNN, LOL, and MSLSD, to name but a few. Americans are sick and tired of this crap. But the only reason and the only way they will continue to push this is if you allow it. You have to allow this crap into your home. You have to allow it onto your devices. Mobile, tablet, whatever. But you know, if you're like me, it's not just enough to cancel your subscription. Let these people know when you do it why I'm no longer supporting you. Let them know why they cannot count on your support for anything in the near future unless and until they back this bus up and straighten this mess out. Of all the people, ESPN, and they will sit there and rail to you about how they care so much about women and women's athletics and women's sports, and yet they honor a dude, a freaking guy, during Women's Month. <laughs> go figure. No, go stool bed. Bottom of the hour break. When we come back, totally out of touch and tone deaf to boot. That's next, when we continue the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com You could be driving.
Now's the time to save on new Accords during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. Get our lowest prices and biggest savings on our largest selection of Accords this year. Hurry in and save during Happy Honda Days at Team Honda of Acadiana. I-49, just south of Opelousas. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School Prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. Spiders. Premier Pest Services. Welcome back to the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Buck Show. Do you know, um, as an American, watching what is happening in our country unfold before our very eyes has been so troubling as of late. We have, as the leader of the free world, a man that is so out of touch with reality, a man that is so tone deaf, it's beyond frightening. We have now become the laughing stock of the planet. Foreign countries with state owned television are now broadcasting comedy skits about the leader of the free world and his second in command laughing at us. On any given day, at any given moment, God only knows what Joe Biden might say. And God himself might be wondering as well, what is this man going to say today? <sighs> the hypocrisy of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is staggering. And a simple question would suffice for many people. What would have happened if a conservative had said what the leader of the free world said? For example, this weekend, Joe Biden comes out to deliver remarks on the recent school shooting in Tennessee. 
and gets up to the microphone and starts telling ice cream jokes. I just came down here because they told me there was ice cream. Now, we all know already, have known for a while, those of us paying any attention at all. We all knew Joe Biden is in the throes of dementia. It's written on his face. You can see it as plain as day. All you got to do is watch the guy. Listen to the guy. And it's pretty clear. It's obvious. But when he starts telling this freaking ice cream joke, the media in the room just laughing right along, giggling, guffawing. And we're talking about six people, seven, including the shooter, dead. Now imagine had Donald Trump come out to make a statement about a deadly school shooting and starts out by saying, I came down here because they told me there would be ice cream. By the way, my favorite flavor is chocolate chip. He then goes on to say, I got a freezer full. No joke. I got a freezer full of chocolate chip ice cream upstairs. First of all, who gives a damn? Second, this is a deadly situation you're talking about here. And knowing at any moment when Joe Biden walks up to a microphone, anything might come out, you would think, and then again, maybe they did, and he's just beyond this point, you would think they would have hammered home to this guy, uh, Mr. President, this is a very serious topic. Please don't deviate from the script. And for God's sake, don't try to do stand up. But you know, this is far from the first time that Joe Biden has insulted the American people. It's one thing. When you are in the throes of dementia, you don't know what you're saying. You don't remember what you said this morning. You don't remember what you said yesterday. God only knows what you're going to remember come this afternoon. But the rest of us do. There's a little thing called the Internet. There's a little thing called videotape. There's a little thing called the news media that reports, well, at least they used to, report on stories so we know how you feel about certain things. So last week, Joe Biden in the Easter Room is having a ceremony celebrating the 13th year of disastrous Obamacare. As he's doing all of this, a baby in the room starts crying. So the father, doing what most dads would do in a situation like this, gets the child, picks him up, and gets ready to leave so that he doesn't disturb the proceedings going on in the room. Joe Biden tells the father, that's okay, you don't have to leave. We love babies. We like babies. And he couldn't stop there. He then had to add, I like babies more than people. Um, who's going to be the one to tell Joe Biden babies are people but that's not the most egregious part of this for this man to sit there and say I like we like babies we like babies. you don't have to leave we like babies then why in God's name have you been fighting 
tooth and freaking nail to make sure the right to kill babies in the womb remains intact. If you love them so much, why are you so adamant that the law allows them to be killed in the womb? Now, I already know where you stand, Joe. You ain't telling me nothing new. I already know where you stand. But for you to sit there and say that and apparently think, well, these fools, they're idiots. They won't be able to connect the two dots. I'm all in favor of abortion. They'll never figure out that I'm feeding them a line of bull, insert the other word here. They'll never figure out that I'm giving them a line of bull crap when I say I like babies. Of course now, it was a week ago, Joe Biden went to visit our northern neighbor, Justin Trudeau, in Canada. Big ticket item that they're going to discuss, the climate emergency. So they get there, they check in, there's a meeting scheduled five minutes away from where they're staying. What did they do? Got their 75 car motorcade and drove all these vehicles for a five minute trip. Limousines. SUVs, two ambulances, and armored personnel carriers, which I don't have any numbers in front of me, but I got to think an APC probably gets yards per gallon. A 75 vehicle motorcade to take a five minute trip to talk about the climate emergency. Now, I don't know about you, but if it was such a climate emergency, wouldn't you be better served, I don't know, doing Zoom or go to meeting or a teleconference? But why should you expect any different? when he goes to Canada. Remember when he went to Rome to meet the Pope not long ago? Talking about the climate emergency? In his 85 vehicle motorcade. A lot of which, using your tax dollars, he loaded up the vehicles on the C-130 transport planes flew them halfway across the freaking planet to drive the big gas guzzlers in their 85 car motorcade. And you would dare preach to me about my carbon footprint? That's for you, Joe. And the rest of y'all that think that way. See, another classic example. Rules for thee but not for me. You're going to tell me you need to stop eating meat. You need to drive an electric car. You need to, you need to, you need to, you need to, while they don't do any of it. A 75 vehicle motorcade. Every single one of them a gas guzzler to go to the meeting about the climate emergency. <laughs> And y'all still voting Democrat? You know, some of y'all need to be ruled. Because you're lazy behind. You don't have the gumption. Old folk used to call it the gumption. To get off your lazy butt, do a little research, and figure out just how much these people are lying to you. Some of y'all need to be ruled. But the rest of us real Americans... We don't roll like that. We don't roll that way. 
And we are not just going to sit idly by and watch you destroy it. While you preach to us about our carbon footprint and then you jump in your 75 vehicle motorcade complete with limos, SUVs, armored personnel carriers, arguably the least fuel efficient vehicles on planet Earth. And I'm supposed to listen to what you tell me about the environment? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy, and we wrap up the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, Having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremontese.com. Sometimes life is wonderful. And sometimes it's not. Cherish the good. But always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private Healthcare is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Welcome back to the final segment of the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Did uh, you guys notice this story yesterday and today? The COVID-19 vaccine and all the consternation that it's caused with the mRNA, experimental gene therapy, the FDA is announcing that they have now approved an mRNA-based 
flu vaccine. I'm going to leave to you to decide whether or not that's for you. I think you already know where I stand. But I found it interesting over the weekend that a senator, Senator Ralph Babbitt in Australia, has seen the light and is demanding that his government do something. Let me read you this statement, if I may. Quote, the Australian people were initially told that mRNA injections would stop them from getting infected with COVID, would stop them from spreading it, and most importantly, would stop them from dying from it. We were told that we're selfish if we're not willing to be vaccinated and that we could kill grandma or kill grandpa. Right now, around 97 and a half percent of Australians over 16 years old followed the government's advice and have had at least one dose of mRNA injection. Yet, the only data that accurately identifies the vaccination status of those who got COVID shows very clearly that the vaccinated are more likely to be infected, more likely to be hospitalized, and more likely to die of COVID. He continues, the fact that Australia is now experiencing its highest mortality rate in over 80 years must be a cause for concern and must be a priority for everyone in this country. It should be front page news. How many of you knew about this? That's rhetorical. <laughs> I, I, I maybe should have framed it another way. Of those of you that get your news from ABC, NBC, C, WS, CNN, LOL, and MSLSD, how many of you knew about this story out of Australia? Senator Babbitt says, and I quote, the only data that accurately identifies the vaccination status of those who got COVID shows quite clearly that the vaccinated are more likely to be infected, more likely to be hospitalized, and more likely to die of COVID. Can you say safe and effective? Yeah. Safe for whom and effective at what? Watch what they do. Don't listen to what they say. Watch what they, do. what they do. And now we find out, huh, mRNA is going to be in flu shots too. Oh, and did I mention that there is a move afoot? To make every single vaccine in the world an mRNA vaccine? Here's your homework. Make friends with someone in the mortuary business. Somebody who embalms people after they die for a living. Make friends with one of them and ask them, um, since they started this whole mRNA thing and you've been embalming people, have you noticed anything different? If they're truthful with you, 
they'll tell you, 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 you can't say this too loud, but yeah, we've been seeing blood clots that are the strangest thing we've ever seen in our professional lives. I'm talking blockages that are so bad that we can't get the needle in to put in the embalming fluid. Blood that is the consistency of sand and clots that are three, four, five, six feet long. Now, under normal circumstances, we would be able to say, okay, starting at such and such a time, we've had an increase of X percentage. In the case of Australia, the highest excess mortality in over 80 years. Under normal circumstances, you could say, okay, let's go back and see if there's one thing that happened, oh, I don't know, people started lining up, taking a shot of some new vaccine. Let's go back and see if there's any correlation between when they started getting the shots and how many people now are dying well above and beyond what they normally do. It ain't that hard to figure out, y'all. It is not that hard to figure out. Australia has its highest excess mortality rate in the last 80 years. I'm not a betting man, but I'll take odds on this one. I'll bet you $10 to a donut. All of this started mm, about two years ago and change. You got a brain. You'll figure it out at some point. My time's up and I got to go. Marty said, come on, man, wrap this thing up. I got to go get my booster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you out on time, Marty. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out on time. He's just chomping at the bit to get out of here. But you already know the drill. Guys, girl, this day, maybe more so than any other day in history, I give it to you. You know what? <laughs> you are spot on. America, we ain't perfect. But for this old boy's money, <laughs> it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. Speaking of the good Lord, you know he loves you. You know I do too. And there ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. See you soon. God bless.